Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, we're going to be looking at creating an ambient tone with the Neural DSP Quad Cortex. At the moment, with the releases that Neural DSP have done, they haven't given us a shimmer reverb and they haven't given us a plate reverb. But there's plenty of really good reverbs and effects inside the Quad Cortex that we can sort of get around it and create some really nice sort of ambient tones. Also in this video, what I'm gonna do is to show you a couple of tips on the Quad Cortex just to make editing even quicker. Right, let's start from a completely blank patch. Now I'm gonna do everything on one DSP chip on one line. Now, first of all, let's load up an amp. I like a clean sound that's just got a bit of breakup on it. So I'm gonna choose the Brick 2203, which is like a JCM 800. I don't know why the Quad Cortex doesn't automatically load up a cab that would go with it. But what we need to do is to load in a cab. Now I really like this 1x12 Zilla cab and it sounds like this. See instantly we've got a really usable sound. I'm going to take back the gain a little bit as I don't want it so drivey. And because I don't want any noise on this patch, I'm also going to load up a noise gate. So let's go to the first block, come down to utility, and just load in simple gate. Now simple gate does exactly what it says. It's a really simple gate, but what I'm going to do is just to bring the threshold back. I might adjust this a little bit later on as I bring in some more effects and create more noise. So there's my sound so far. Next thing I'm going to load in is a compressor. I'm going to go to my second block and choose compressor. I'm going to use this dual compressor. By adding the compressor, it now sounds like this. So there's a couple of things that I'd like to do with this compressor. One, it's driving the amp a little bit too hard. So let's bring back the volume a bit. And also I'd like to use parallel compression. What parallel compression is, is letting some of the clean guitar tone through as well as the compressed signal. So let's bring back the mix. Let's bring it back to about 50%. And the compressor is also adding this high end. So I could bring back the EQ or I could just turn the high cut on. That to me is a great sort of clean sound. What I'm going to do next is to load in a reverb. I'm going to go to the last block as I want my reverb to be the last in the chain. Let's choose reverb. Now, at the moment, as I said, we haven't got a shimmer reverb and we haven't got a plate reverb. I would normally choose a plate reverb as a preference if I was creating a normal guitar tone. But if I want to create a, an ambient, a more ambient sort of guitar tone, I'm going to go for this modulated reverb. So with the mix up 100%, it sounds like that. Now, what I want to do is let some of the clean signal through. So let's bring back the mix. I'm going to turn the pre-delay up a bit as well, just so I can let some of the clean signal in before the reverb kicks in. And that's also going to be enhanced once I add the delay before the reverb. Now I'm really happy with the way that sounds. Now say that you want to save just that reverb patch. If you click on where it says reverb modulated, We've got this choice here that says set parameters as defaults. Now, if I click on that, every time that I load up that modulated reverb, that setting will load up. So it's almost like a way of saving the effects preset inside of the overall preset. Right, there's two more things that I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a delay before the reverb. So I've got all these different choices, but what I'd like to do with this is to have a modulated reverb. I'm going to click on tape delay. I 
I would like a little bit more modulation. So I'm just gonna turn up the wound flutter. And I also want this delay to be a ping pong delay. So I'm gonna change the ping pong to on. So if I play a note, you can hear the delays are bouncing from side to side. Now I don't want the delays to interfere with the guitar tone too much, so I'm gonna bring back the low pass. Just so they're underneath the tone of the guitar. And I also don't need so much low end in the delay as well. So I'm gonna bring up the high pass. So there's my basic sound, but as I said before, we haven't got a shimmer reverb in all the different reverb choices. So what I wanna try and do is to add some sort of pitch changing effect, just so we can affect the sound of the reverb, just to add some pitch to it. So I'm gonna bring back the delay to the previous block. Now I don't know where I want this pitch effect, so I'm gonna try it in a couple of different places. But first of all, let's try it just before the reverb. Let's choose pitch, and we'll choose this poly octaver. Now that's great, this sort of glassy tone, but I think if I move that before some of the other effects, we might be able to get rid of that. And let's try it before the amp. Hopefully you're here by putting that before the amp, we've lost that sort of over the top glassy sort of sound. And now if I move it after the amp. You see it's come back. So let's pick it up and again move it before the amp. I'm gonna upload this preset to the Quad Cortex Cloud. If you guys wanna download it, you can download it for free. All you've gotta do is to search for the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of this. If you did get something out of it, perhaps you consider liking and subscribing, clicking on the bell button, and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.